Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production, and today I'm going to show you how you can create a drum sound in M Sound Factory. Somebody actually requested this a few weeks ago, and at first I was going to do like traditional, like analog style drums, but I thought let's try some physical modeling to come up with something that sounds more like a real snare drum. So this is a device I've been working on. So that's the basic sound. So today I'm gonna to try to break this up in two videos and the first one will just be coming up with the basic sound and the next video I'll show you how to get more punch out of it and add some hit variations and other things. So let's get started. I'll show you the basic sound here. So what I wanna do is get a sound that's more like this. So you're gonna need a sample, just choose something you like. I'm gonna use this. And I loaded this up here uh, just so you can hear it and also so I kind of have like a reference. It's not going to be perfect, but it's okay. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is use this drum synthesizer for in in. And so could just do this. So there we got a snare. Oh, we're done. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. We're not going to do that. We're actually going to go in and uh, make some adjustments. So I made this before. It's just sine sweep basic. And all it's going to do is just create a basic sine sweep going down, which is one of the things we need. So you see here, oscillator one has a sine wave and it's going from 10,000 to zero in 15 milliseconds, very fast. Make sure the envelope is all the way up. Make sure the band pass is off. So that's one, it should just sound like a click like this. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna need is noise. And this is gonna be almost the exact same thing. I'm gonna set this around like 350 or so. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna have to actually adjust this later. Uh, change the envelope because we want it to go down in volume. Let's try, I don't know, 66, that's fine. And turn the bandpass off. It should sound like this. Now put these together. Oh, and make sure this isn't going to the left like this. Put it in the center. And the reason why we're doing this is the noise is going to be kind of like our snare. So like those metal uh, chains, that's going to be the snare. And the oscillator one, that's going to be like the punch. And so you're thinking, okay, this doesn't sound anything like a snare so far. And we're actually going to use some physical modeling. So we're going to use some of the, uh, the motor, sorry, we're going to use the modal filter. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm getting tongue tied. And uh, so just open this up. And the first thing we need to do is just turn all the harmonics on. You can either do that by hand, but I already have a preset that says all harmonics, has the resonance all the way up, the output, everything is already set up for me. So now we're gonna go into the structure. Just use A, and now we're gonna analyze a sample. So whatever sample of a snare drum you have, you can use that. Uh, make sure everything is set like this approximately, especially the expect harmonic. Sort by frequency, I like that, but you don't actually have to do that, but expect in harmonic is really important. Uh, load your file up, snare 15, okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first adjust the threshold because a lot of this is gonna be noise. I like to have it around like 20 something, Maybe like 24, 25. And it's gonna get rid of lots of harmonics, but that's okay. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sweep the start position, and I just want it so this one, this fundamental, is the highest uh, harmonic in value, right? harmonic, partial, whatever. And so move it up until we find it, oh, there. Okay, that seems good. Let's play a note and test it. Okay, so it sounds like a, a bell, like some church bell or something, but that's okay. I'm going to show you how you can change that. So the next thing we want to do is we want to adjust the resonance. What the resonance will do is it will allow more of the white noise in, and it'll make it sound more like a drum. So at 100%, it sounds like this. Move it down to 75. It sounds like this. 50%. 25%. That's closer. I usually like it between about 5% and 15%. So let's put it around, let's say like 10 or so, like this. Now that's starting to sound like a snare. The next thing I want to do is change this to constant because I don't want it to track the pitch, although you could, and I'll move it down an octave. So now it'll sound like this. And now let's look at the count here. I don't need all these harmonics. So I usually like to set it around like 16 and not only do I think this sounds better, but it also saves you some CPU. Now, if I adjust the resonance by moving it up, you'll hear more of the body like this. 
And if I move it down, you'll hear more of the snare like this. So you can set that wherever you feel is the best. And that's basically it. So from here, there's lots of things you can do. One of the things that I usually like to do is I like to put some EQ on it because I feel like eh, this isn't really the exact sound I want as it is. So we can take out our EQ and let's say I might want to do something like take the high pass here and I find the resonance point and move it up like this. Then I'll cut out some low mids here. Then I'll probably want to boost some presence around the upper mids. And then from there I might want to do a low pass to just get rid of some of the like hissing I hear in the top end. And that's it. So this bypassed, on. Now, of course, you can do that any way you want. If you want more like bass in there, I can move this up. So make that sound however you want. Now, still, this isn't perfect. And of course, you could use a compressor on it. You can use transient shapers. But for me, this doesn't have enough punch. But next time, I'll show you how to make this a little bit punchier. And another thing you might want to do is go back into here and move this down. I think this is a little bit too much of the oscillator. So moving this down like this might sound better. And of course, don't uh, feel uh, afraid to mess with the different frequencies here and go to the noise and you can adjust the length of that so make it longer or make it shorter and you can adjust that however you see fit so I hope that gave you some ideas of things you can do if you like this give me a thumbs up subscribe so you can get the next video where I show you how to do more stuff and check out all the other plugins at MelderProduction.com. Till next time, see you.